Hello, everybody, and welcome into another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. This is, I believe, our 46th episode of 2024, and it is also, sadly, our final episode of the year. Well, maybe not sadly. Um, we've made it through the wonderful year of 2023, and it's just been a joy sharing art with all of you. Um, I am filming this episode uh, in the afternoon. It's about 3.30 here in Seattle. Um, my son was home today and we were doing some things, and so I didn't get to start creating until about 2.30. Um, but uh, what I'm sharing today is a sample of the wonderful new Peachy King Choir Angels Die and Stamp Set. It's PKSD015. You can use code JILL10 for 10% off your purchases. Um, if you haven't seen the new release, I did a new release video several videos back. Um, and I will link it down below in the drop down area if you're interested in seeing the entire release. Beautiful new face stamps, um, this sweet, sweet Choir Angels die, and so many other new products. And of course, you know that my Jill's favorite faces are over there too. Two different uh, stamp sets with my name on them that incorporate both large and small faces for almost any project that you would want to make. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Kathy and Dave Jakopovich and to each and every one of you. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and that you're looking forward to a bright and beautiful new 2024 um, as we head into the new year. So um, I'm coming on to share a sample because when I did the release video, I did not have time to make a sample. And I've had some questions about the die set too. So I thought I would just kind of go over and show you the die set um, and how it's laid out. Please excuse all the ink on my hands. Um, I was refilling Copic markers last night and uh, I've gotten a lot of it off, but there's still a little bit of residual ink on my hands, which I'll have to take off with some rubbing alcohol. Um, but anyway, this is the die set and uh, Kathy has this laid out beautifully. The only piece you need to remove is this little heart. Um, and that allows you to cut out your, your face um, for the angel. If you are going to use the gingerbread die set for the face, um, you could leave this all intact. And uh, this would actually make, um, you know, you, you don't necessarily have to use this circle for the circle uh, to stamp your face on. So um, this is the die set. And I thought I would just go through it a little bit. Um, she's laid it out so that you can kind of see everything uh, in order, if you will. So you have the angel, um, the angel wings, the face, you have the dress and the collar, okay, and there's two different style dresses. You have a little scallop edge for the dress. Um, this is to make shoes if you want, and you can coordinate that with these little feet over here. Um, this is also for shoes. Um, these are different uh, um, sleeves that you can use with the gowns to make them into choir robes, and then this is the choir robe collar. Um, there's different hand sets in here that you can use. Um, to add to the base of the sleeves. And then you have a bear, a little, um, uh, you know, like a choir manual or a hymnal or a book, depending on how you want to use it. There's a bell also as an accessory. There's two bows. You can add the bigger bow um, at the collar if you want. And then the smaller bow looks adorable on the halo and also on the bear um, or wherever you want to use these bows in any project that you're doing. Okay, so it's a wonderful die set. And again, she kind of has it laid out in a really good order if you look at it. And the other thing that you can always refer to the website because Kathy puts lots of information about her dies within her writing on the website. So you always want to read the website. If you have any questions, um, they usually will be answered on the website. Okay, you can add, um, she does include face stamps and um this little stamp set, okay, and the stamp set includes music notes, the little hair piece, as well as the three faces that you can use, okay. I think I use this face right here. Um, and then she does show also all the different ways that you can put the die set together. So lots of different ideas. You can see how she did the book where the angel's um, hands are holding the book. I did it a little bit different only because I wanted to write on the front of my book. And I wrote Oh Holy Night and the Year because I was making a little um, angel tag for Christmas. Um, but she used two of the bells to have the angel hold the bells in their hands. Um, in this one, the little angel just has her hands there with nothing in them, but she has the big bow on her chest. Here they're holding the teddy bear and the teddy bear has the bow in both of these. So 
really, really sweet. And uh, you can see um, all the different ways she also did the hair and the, and the halos. Okay, so just adorable, adorable set. I love it, and uh, it's it's a wonderful um, it's a wonderful make, if you will. Uh, so you get the the dies and the cover sheet as well as the stamps, and this is what this looks like all stamped out for you. So I wanted to make a project and share it with you. I did use some papers from Irala Miha Shop on Etsy. She has this beautiful Christmas digital paper, and it's one of my favorites to use during the holidays. So I made a tag with this digital paper. The Joy to the World is a Lily of the Valley digital stamp set. It's a digital sentiment set. I will link it down below. Um, and it is a wonderful one to have because you can print these at any size you want um, to coordinate with what, whatever you're making. So I wanted to do Joy to the World, and uh, you can see how the little angel turned out. I did stagger three different angel wings um, on here with pop dots in between so that it almost looks like her, her wings are fluttering. Um, and I matched one set of wings to her little outfit, okay? And I did pop up the collar Okay, and I didn't use, there's a little extra piece to the collar that you can add if you want to. You can add like a little uh, stripe detail on the collar, but I didn't do it. Uh, I chose not to use it because I wanted those snowflakes to really show. Um, you can see how I added the border to her gown. And then I used a Micron pen. Um, let me pull one of these out so you can see it. I used a Micron pen, a Pigma Micron. These are archival ink pens that have a very fine tip. And uh, that is a very good thing to have in your stash for when you're doing little detail work. Um, you know, so you want to use those. Uh, that is how I added the Oh Holy Night and the year 2023 to my little um, choir uh music, if you will. And again, there is that little music stamp, and I might take that. I didn't do it yet, but I might stamp some music notes just coming off the angel in the background of this tag or something. I haven't decided yet. But um, I did pop her up on here, so she's she's kind of um, popped away from the back of the tag, if you will. I added a little jingle bell, and I just added this with a little safety pin that you can get on Amazon, a little box of brown safety pins. You can use garment pins if you want, or bulb pins, as they're sometimes called, um, to attach tags. And then the, the beautiful twine that I used is this cranberry twine. This is from uh, Annie's Paper boutique.com and this is trend um it's trendy twine and annie's paper boutique.com and the one that i used was the cranberry so that's this one here okay and um i just think that looks so cute i just um i quadrupled it pulled it through and then i tied a knot at the base and that big knot that i tie holds this onto the tag and it also allows me to slide the pin through to attach um, the joy to the world tag and the little bell. So I think this turned out so cute. You can see that I did add a little bit of diamond stickles to just her halo and the edges of the top set of wings. And whenever I'm paper piecing, I use a glue bottle. Um, I use multimedia mat because it dries flat. You don't, it doesn't dry shiny. And I like these metal tips that you can get um, at most craft stores. Uh, I like to attach one of those because it allows you to really control how much glue you're using. When you're paper piecing little things like this, it's very helpful. And then I wanted to add that instead of using the shoes, I used a Copic marker just to draw in the shoes in a cranberry color to match her dress. And uh, I love how the little face turned out. I added two little white um, hearts to her face. So this is that wonderful die set. And uh, I hope... Um, the, or stamp and die set, the Choir Angels die and stamp set from Peachy Keen. I am an affiliate for Peachy Keen. Um, if you use my code Jill10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off any orders that you place. And I will put a link to the Peachy Keen website down below. Again, the number of this is PKSD015. And I will also attach down below a link to the video of the entire release for those of you that may have missed out. But I had had some questions from everybody about how to put this together. So I just wanted to show you my sample and how I did it. And uh, it is very, very easy to piece everything together. Um, I started by stamping my uh, angel face and just gluing it on behind 
the dress and then you can add you know your your little um your little border to the dress however you want to add it and then you just glue on your sleeves and the little hands however you want to glue them on and uh and then you can add the accessories um and the angel wings behind and uh you know stamp your face and then put your little feet at the bottom it's very easy to put together very cute and uh, i love that she did the little bear and the bell as accessories so that uh you can have the angel be ringing a bell or um, also for Valentine's Day, you could do little angels for your friends and have them holding a heart. So there's lots that you could do with this uh, die set. And uh, I had so much fun making this tag. I wish I would have had more time to make these so I could have given some more to my family um, before Christmas. But um, thank you, Kathy and Dave, for coming out with so many wonderful products. This whole year has been wonderful, and I'm so grateful to all the companies that I work with. I'm grateful to each and every one of you that is part of Saturday Morning Makes. I appreciate each and every single person that visits my channel, whether you're just visiting here and commenting or whether you're sharing art on your channels and your Instagram or other feeds on Facebook um, and part of the Saturday Morning Makes community that shares art. Um, I just want to thank you all for a wonderful, wonderful 2023, and uh, I just am looking forward to another year of Saturday Morning Makes during 2024, whenever people are able to share art, when they have time in their busy schedules, and remember that you can hashtag it, your art, Satmorn Makes, any time of the week. It doesn't have to be Saturday morning. Many of us share on Saturday mornings because that's what works for us, but you can share any time and eventually people will get around when they check out the hashtag to see what everyone is creating. And it's so fun to share art in a community like this. So thank you to all of you. I wish you all the merriest of Christmases, happiest of holidays, and a very happy new year. Be safe out there. And my very best to Emma and to all of you out there that maybe are fighting illnesses of any kind. I talked to Emma a little bit last night and she is still um, trying to recover. So please keep her in your prayers, just as we pray for each and every one of you. Um, we all have things in our life that are difficult. And uh, I am just supremely blessed by this community. And I will be back to share some more Merry Mails um, before next Saturday's episode. So um, I have lots of Happy Mail, Merry Mail from many people, cards and packages. And I will continue to share those as time permits to film. So thank you so much, everybody. I just, you all mean the world to me. And uh, each one of you is so special. And uh, I just hope you have a wonderful, safe new year. Bye now. And let's keep celebrating Christmas. We have, it's the 12 days of Christmas. So enjoy your trees, enjoy your decorations, um, Christmas movies, etc. And if you know a good Christmas movie um, that I might want to see, please put it in the drop down menu. I'm always looking for fun things to watch or tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is. Okay. All right, everybody take good care. Bye now.